everyone, I'm Katie. And I'm Jesse. Welcome to our course on beginning iOS animations. In this course, we're going to get you started animating views in iOS. When you start adding animation to your apps, it's essential you know how to make that work in a project that uses auto layout. So, in this part of the course, you'll focus on animating views by animating their auto layout constraints. We'll be building up animations in this packing list app. The app itself is already set up for you, but the user experience is seriously lacking. We'll focus completely on making this app delightful while learning how to animate. Why should you add animation to your apps? Animation is a brilliant way to wow your users and make your app look and feel unique. Practically speaking, animation can grab a user's attention and allow them to focus on what's most important. It can help your users intuitively understand how to navigate your app or alert them to important changes. Before we begin, we should consider what an animation is. Let's break it down to a simple definition. For our purposes, animation is a change in value or state over time. That's it. If you take this cat and change its position from point A to point B, it just appears at point B. And technically, that is a very, very short animation. Now, change the cat's position over a perceivable period of time, like half a second. That's the kind of animation we're talking about. Position is an easy property to think about animating, and when you're animating constraints, much of it will be position-based. For every animation you create in this section, consider what the starting value is, what the ending value is, and how long it should take to change between those two values. There will be bells and whistles to add, but start with the basics. On a final note, the content we'll be covering in these videos is based on the wildly popular book iOS Animations by Tutorials, written by longtime tutorial team member Marin Todorov. If you find that you want to take a deeper look into animating in iOS, we highly recommend it. That's it for this introductory video. You're ready to begin animating auto layout constraints. Core Animation is a powerful framework that will take your app to the next level. We actually have lots of videos just on this subject and a bunch of free tutorials over at raywinderlich.com. So stop on by and take a look for yourself.